Can you not see those? They can. Uh, no, but even if you hold them, it's fine. Okay, well, I thought I'd so don't worry. Them, how I'll change them. Cool. cool. Okay. Here you go. Action. Okay. So, did you have any hidden talents? Do I have any hidden talents? Yeah. Uh, if I do, they are hidden, <laughs> not just to everyone else, but to me as well. Because I, I um, yeah, I put everything out there. You know, I, for me, motor racing is is um, my life. That is the talent that I've tried to work on through the years and trying to improve. Apart from that, I was never very good at ball sports, um, and still am not good with balls. I've got something in common. I'm absolutely. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> I'm good. But um, other things where you've got to push yourself and and just mentally be tough. Those things I I can. Do right. So how did you how did you do at school? Were you uh, academic or? I just been speaking to the engineers about this, uh, and basically I left school at 16 uh, because I was racing abroad, uh, karting. Uh, I did one GCSE because uh, the others I was away for the exams I was away for uh, racing abroad. So uh, it was more life experience than uh, than doing exams at school. But uh, the one I did get a, a result on was French, which I got a B in. Um, I can't speak a word of French. So I've lived there for 10, 11 years and I still don't You can ask for a ham sandwich, surely. Yeah, that's why you're um, yeah I've, got, I've got like coffee shop French, uh, but I've got coffee shop Italian and coffee shop Japanese. So I can always go into a coffee shop and order something for myself, uh, which is good. And yeah, so that's, that's, that's about it in terms of languages. Excellent, excellent. So we obviously know you have a healthy diet when you're racing. What's your guilty pleasure when you're not? You know, end of the season, what's the yeah. first thing you go for? I've got a real sweet tooth. I mean, I love, um, yeah, I love um, like burgers and stuff. I don't eat them very often, but it's normally sort of if I've had a really good result, had a, you know, a bit of a night out, and uh, in in the morning, that's my guilty pleasure would be a big fat juicy burger. Um, but um, it'd be more often it would be dessert. That's what I would treat myself after a race or something. Uh, and I love sticky toffee pudding. I love cheesecake uh, and I love banoffee pie. Those are three things that really stand out for me. Yeah, your first yeah. So, what music are you listening to at the moment? Music, um, all sorts of different music, but um, I love the chilies. Okay, Big fan of the yeah, chili yeah. peppers. Uh, the old, more, more of the old Kings of Leon stuff I really like. It's just crazy. So and that's you get in the zone when you're. Yeah, that's, that's sort of one I listen to before a race. Um, but then I, I enjoy listening to like Bob Marley for chilling out, um, um, Pavel Nettini for chilling out as well. So yeah, there's lots of different things. And then at Prodigy as well, you know. Depending on the mood. Exactly, of... Prodigy's great for training. Yeah, yeah. A couple of times I've been cycling up in, in France and, and Monaco up in the hills and I've had a friend following in like the safety car behind, you know, blaring out amazing, yeah. Prodigy music. So. Yeah, yeah. so when's the last time you saw a live act? Uh, in terms of music, yeah. Um, uh, what was that? Wow, it was a long time ago. <coughs> obviously, uh, Kings probably. Yeah. Yeah. In uh, in London, uh, I saw Florence and the Machines in LA, which is pretty cool. She's she's a great performer. Have you else. seen the Chili's live? Uh, yes, um, I have. Um, Drum was pretty mental. Yeah, I saw them in Hyde Park, they were fantastic. With James yeah. Brown as well. I mean, yeah. A few years ago, absolutely amazing. You know, yeah. I don't think you could pick two better artists to put on the same film, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, very different, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So, what's your favourite film? Favourite film? Uh, growing up, it was Cruel Intentions. I loved Cruel Intentions. Uh, pretty unusual film, uh, and not something I would recommend. <laughs> <laughs> but um, apart from that, I'm a big James Bond fan. I love action films, so the Bourne um, films and James Bond, but for me the best thing on TV at the moment is Toon. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course yeah. Especially that tall blonde guy, <laughs> he's amazing. Yeah. That's on a good turn, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. So what was the last film you saw at the cinema? The last film I saw at the cinema, well I was almost Skyfall the other night, but we decided not to go. Uh, instead, we went and had a really nice dinner. Um, we went to Dubai um, instead. Uh, but um, I watch a lot of stuff on planes, so yeah. I don't really go to the cinema that much because I travel so much. Mm. I want to save stuff for uh, when I want to play. Yeah. Uh, and the last program or film I saw on a plane was Madagascar 3. <laughs> and uh, I love, I love the little 
Um, is he a meerkat? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's amazing.